solar storm stuck in traffic, delaying communications disruptions on Earth. Let's talk about today's news in migration world. An expected solar storm that began on New Year's Eve is stuck in traffic. Because of that, potential interruptions to radio communications, electric power grids and navigation signals were expected to take place on January 4 or 5, News.com has learned. Dr. Tamitha Scove told the Daily Mail that the solar wind stream that was due before the solar storm didn't have enough power to push forward as swiftly. Therefore, she said that the impending radiation storm has increased to an official S1 level, pushing the possible interruptions back a few days. According to NASA, solar flares are powerful bursts of energy that can also pose risks to spacecraft and astronauts. The event that began on New Year's Eve was classified as an X 5.0 flare, the most intense level. Scove told the Daily Mail that some of Earth's technology has been impacted by the storm despite the delay. She said radio frequencies used by marine radios, possibly Starlinks and certain specific TV broadcasts, were altered for a short bit. The solar wind stream ahead of the storm was slower than expected, which caused the storm to slow down, Scove told the Daily Mail. Just like slow traffic on a freeway will cause a faster car that catches up to it to forcibly slow down and travel at nearly the same speed as the slower traffic ahead. According to the Space Weather Prediction Center, SWPC, the solar flares could have minor impacts on polar HF, high-frequency, radio propagation resulting in fades at lower frequencies. The minor impacts on polar HF mainly concern the radiation storm causing high-frequency radio and GPS navigation signals to be degraded for those navigating and communicating over the polar regions, Scove said. Radiation storms affect the polar regions most intensely due to the fact that Earth's magnetic shield is open to these radiation storm particles at the poles. Images from NASA show bright orange explosions emitting from the sun. According to NASA, the New Year's Eve event was the strongest burst of energy from the sun since 2017. However, the SWPC noted that the general public had nothing to worry about in connection to the solar event. The Earth was expected to experience a minor geomagnetic storm on Tuesday before the event was delayed. The risk NOAA slash SWPC is citing is for radio blackouts at a specific level, that often does impact GPS reception, but not always, Scove said. However, the only presence expected to be felt was among marine radio frequencies over the Pacific Ocean. The radio waves, called radio bursts, are what impact our reception to satellite signals like GPS and even HF radio communications, Scove said. It is like the sun is literally screaming at us during a solar flare. This scream is much louder than our satellites can chirp and so it drowns out the satellite signals temporarily. That being said, the sun doesn't always scream at the exact frequencies that affect GPS signals. Thank you for watching the video. If the video was helpful make sure to like, share and subscribe to this channel for the upcoming videos. See you in the next video.